if your fluorescent lights are flickering and won't come on, I'm gonna show you what the problem is. It's probably this ballast right here. Uh, I've been in my house for 19 years and I've been having problems there in my closet and in my washroom. So I went on and changed them out and I went on and changed both of them out. But I'm gonna show you how to test them. It's very easy to test. First, what you wanna do is get you a multimeter. And what you wanna do is turn it to ohms right here. And make sure I'm gonna zoom in, turn it to ohms. And what you wanna do is turn it to, you'll see a K ohms. And what you wanna do, let's put it right here. Let's take the alligator clip and put it on this black right here. We're gonna set that there. And you're gonna take the other end of the black and put it on the white. This is your common neutral. Okay, once you do that, you wanna take your other part and check the ohms. So we're gonna check the red. You see right here, you just touch it. You shouldn't get no reading. It should be open. So I'm gonna put it to where it, I'm gonna hit the function to where it beeps. You see, you have no, no reading. We're gonna check the other red, no reading. That's what you should have, that's good. We're gonna check the yellow, no reading. Check the other yellow, still open. We're gonna check this blue, you hear that? It's beeping, that means this is no good. So usually when this blue is out, the other one's out also. You see that reading right there, 10.6 ohms. We're gonna touch this one. There you go. So this one is bad. And I've already checked my other one also, and it's bad also. So I went on and changed both of them out. So that's how you check uh, to see if this ballast is bad. So we're gonna go over it one more time. We're gonna turn it to ohms on your meter. We're gonna connect this alligator clip to the black and to your common. Your common is your neutral, the black is the hot. So once you connect it, you wanna make sure all of these are open. That means it's do not have a short. You see how I'm checking all of these? And we know the blue, look, it has a short. That means it's no good. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it don't when you turn your lights on and off. That's it. So if you want to check this ballast right here, that's all you have to do. And you can replace it. Just make sure you got the right one. You got 120 volts, 60 Hertz. And this one's for two lamps. You see lamp, lamp. So you got two lamps, you have one lamp. And so just get something that's in the range or similar and it'll work fine. I just replaced my two and it takes less than, I say 10 to 15 minutes. So, but if you're not comfortable doing, changing these, get somebody to help you out. But that's how you test them. Have a great day.